Welcome to my Wednesday ramblings. As we enter into these days of the Triduum, the Holy Thursday, Good Friday, Easter Vigil, and then, of course, the story of Easter Sunday, we have an opportunity to think about the incredible life, death, and resurrection of Jesus, our Saviour. On Holy Thursday night, as we celebrate the Mass of the Lord's Supper, we're also reminded that key to that whole story is the service that Jesus did as he knelt at the feet of his disciples. The Gospel is a beautiful Gospel which reminds us that sometimes being the servant is much more important than holding places of authority and yet we seem to seek that authority, we seem to seek that uh, attention for ourselves. Good Friday, the story of the Passion of our Lord, the reading of the Passion from John's Gospel is a profoundly moving uh, moment and it's a, a great opportunity for us to simply sit, to listen and to ponder the incredible tragedy that is the carrying of the cross but also the sublime, sublime way in which Jesus went to the cross in spite of everything else that was going. And as we live in the midst of what's happening in Ukraine and in the area of, especially on the eastern border of Ukraine, we recognize the profound suffering that so many people in our world still experience, not just there but in the Sudan and in parts of Palestine, uh, in different parts of the Middle East and other places in the world where there is so much pain and suffering. So walking with Jesus on the way is uh, an important opportunity for us to think about and reflect on the story. But nothing quite prepares us for the incredible mystery of the Twitterum, the story of the Easter Vigil and the readings which remind us so much of the promise that God made in the past that would be fulfilled through the death and resurrection of Jesus. It gives us an opportunity to experience and to share in that special joy which is the glory of Christ risen. And so while the homilies are going to be short, they are a reminder to us of what it means to give ourselves into the presence of God and to know that God has given himself into our presence for our salvation. So as you enter into these great events of the Triduum, I pray that you will be blessed by the presence of God in your life and that you might have the opportunity to spend some time with the community, with God's people, sharing in and remembering all that God has done for us. May you have a blessed and safe time during this few days, which is as a break leading up to school holidays, but also an opportunity to be in the presence of God.